Welcome to the overview of the VMware vSphere hypervisor interface and how to apply a free license. In this demonstration, we'll learn how to utilize the VMware vSphere client to connect to the vSphere hypervisor host. To start, launch the vSphere client from desktop and connect to the name or IP address for the host. Enter the root password, which is the password created on installation. Click Login and ignore the SSL certificate. Click OK to dismiss the evaluation license warning message for now. First, let's have an overview of this interface. From the menu bar at the top, we can import and deploy a VM and manage the host and other objects in the inventory. On the left side of the window is the inventory panel. This is our vSphere host object that represents the host we built and are connected to. Below this, we see the virtual machines we built or populated in this inventory. Once we have an object selected, these menu items correspond to the object that we have selected. Similarly, if we right-click on that object, we still see many of the same menu items. The right side has all the inventory and configuration menu of that object. We can scroll down and see some additional quick launch commands for the object we have selected. Next, we apply the license in the configuration tab. We click on the license features. We can see here that there's a license for every single one of our features. To apply the permanent free hypervisor license, we click Edit on the top right and select Assign a new license key to this host. Enter the key and click OK. Now we see our license, which never expires and is registered for unlimited CPUs for up to 32 gigabytes of RAM per CPU. We can see in the Recent Tasks bar at the bottom that the license has been applied. So that's how we apply a free version of VMware vSphere hypervisor license that allows us to build or import VMs and get them up and running. Note that if we are in the evaluation mode and the license expires, the VMs won't shut down or crash. We just won't be able to add or create new VMs until the license is applied. This concludes our demonstration on overview of the VMware vSphere hypervisor interface and how to apply a free license. Thank you.